maximum height of projectile. So the maximum height, it is defined as the height up to which the projectile can go up. Okay. As shown in this figure, when a projectile is projected at an angular, uh, you know, at some angle with respect to the horizontal, then the projectile will go along this path. So as it goes up, the velocity starts decreasing, 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 decreasing. At this point, the velocity is V. And once the height is maximum, it means the velocity, the vertical velocity at that point is zero. Why the vertical velocity is zero? Because this is the maximum height beyond this, or above this, the, you know, projectile cannot go up anymore. So it has to fall down. So because it cannot go up anymore, it means the vertical velocity at this maximum height is zero. Okay. So we denote that maximum height of a projectile by hn. And let us use this equation of motion v square minus u square equal to as to get the expressions of maximum height. Okay. Now using this, if you use this equation for maximum height, then what is v? What is the velocity? What is the vertical? Okay, for vertical distance, I will see here for vertical distance. What is v at maximum height? Is there any vertical velocity? No. So, or first I will write vy is the vertical velocity. And instead of u, I'll write uy. And then twice, instead of g, we use, we use instead of u, we use to write as minus g and what is s for maximum height it is equals to h okay h f now because v y as i already mentioned it has no uh, value of, at this maximum height so v y is zero and instead of u y u y it is u sin theta so u y square mean u square sine square theta and it is equals to right hand side is minus two g yeah. Okay. Right. Next. So therefore, only two g h m it is equals to u square sine square theta, or only h m it will be u square sine square theta upon two g. So this is the equations for the maximum height of a projectile okay so i'll name this as equation number four fine velocity at any time t let us find out what is the velocity of a projectile at any instance of time small t suppose i want to calculate the velocity at this point p and let's say the magnitude of the velocity it is equals to v and the directions of the velocity it is always acting tangent to this point so this is the velocity at this point p now i want to express the magnitude of this velocity v at a particular point p so for that we need to use this equation of motion v equal u plus at okay so at this point p there are two uh, rectangular components of velocity one is vx, another is vy. So first let us talk about the horizontal component of velocity. So if you use this, then the velocity at a point P along horizontal, it is vx. So similarly for u, I'll write ux plus a, instead of a, I'll write ax, and then the time at this point is small t. Or Vx is equals to, you know Ux, 2x is what? It is u cos theta. Plus, and since Ax is 0, so you have to write 0 into t. Or Vx is just equals to u cos theta. Fine. Now, we will uh, look at the vertical component. Now, for vertical component of velocity, V is vy u is uy plus uh, a instead of a will write ay 
and then the time is t or by is equals to you know uy is u sin theta plus ay is minus g and the time is t or you can say by is equals to u sin theta minus g into t so this is the horizontal component of velocity and this is the vertical component of velocity at this point p so knowing the uh, the, the uh, horizontal and the vertical component therefore i can see that the magnitude of velocity at point p is v equal root over v x square plus v y square or v equal root over instead of v x i will write u cos theta so because of square it become u square cos square theta plus instead of v y i will write u sin theta minus gt everything square now let us expand this equation so v becomes root over u square cos square theta plus now applying a formula a minus b whole square you will get a square plus b square minus 2 a b u sin theta g t okay or v is equals to taking common u square you will get inside here is cos square theta plus sin square theta and plus g square t square minus twice u sin theta g t okay or v is equals to root over because we know this value is equals to 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1 so 1 into u square will be equals to u square plus g square t square minus twice u sin theta g t okay so this is known as the magnitude of the velocity at any time t which is corresponding to a point p okay now if this velocity v makes an angle beta with respect to the horizontal then i can say that tan beta is equals to vy by vx how because when you drop a perpendicular from the tip of the velocity v then you will get the component of this along x is vx and along y it is vy because this is same because if this is vy so this also should be vy because when you complete you get a rectangle so if this is vy this also should be vy so now tan beta it is equals to perpendicular which is vy upon base which is vx or just beta it is equal to tan inverse right because when you take tan to the right it become tan inverse vy upon vx now you know what is vy vy is this so putting the value of vy here and vx which is u cos theta then you will get the value of beta okay so this is all about the uh, projectile motion that we have discussed uh, two cases one is when a projectile is given a horizontal projection and the second case is when the projectile is given an angular projection so please study hard about this topic it's very important especially in exams they used to ask you about to derive the the time of flight the maximum height the horizontal range the time to reach maximum height and etc and also to show that what is the angle which is needed to get a maximum horizontal range so those are the questions right i can say which can be asked in exam so please practice especially during uh, for the derivation